When you think of Jupiter, what comes to mind? A giant ball of gas, right? That classic image from science books with the colorful bands and the great red spot. Well, that image is wrong, or at least incomplete. Beneath those turbulent clouds that look like a cosmic oil painting hides the largest and strangest ocean in the entire solar system. An ocean tens of thousands of kilometers deep, where the pressure is so absurdly crushing that it turns the simplest element in the universe, hydrogen, into a shiny liquid metal. Today, we are not just going to observe Jupiter from afar. We will do what no probe has ever survived to report. We will dive below the clouds and explore this electric colossus from the inside. This is our journey to the heart of the metallic planet. Our trip begins at the top of Jupiter's atmosphere. Imagine we are in an indestructible capsule, piercing through the cloud layers. What we find is not a calm sea of gas, but absolute chaos. We are passing through clouds made of ammonia ice crystals at freezing temperatures, while being battered by winds that top 600 kilometers per hour. Right beside us is the queen of all storms, the Great Red Spot. It is a hurricane so vast it could swallow Earth twice, and it has been roaring nonstop for centuries. Recent data from NASA's Juno probe revealed that this storm is not just a surface detail. Its roots extend hundreds of kilometers downward, connecting the atmosphere we see to the planet's deeper, more mysterious layers. But as impressive as all of this is, the bands, the zones, and the bumper car-like storms at the poles, it all amounts to Jupiter's skin, a shell about 50 kilometers thick. To uncover the giant's true nature, we need to go much deeper. As we descend, pressure and temperature skyrocket to levels that defy imagination. We pass the mark of a thousand kilometers below the cloud tops, and this is where something extraordinary happens. The hydrogen around us is no longer a gas, but it is not exactly a liquid either. It has become a supercritical fluid. Think of a state of matter where there is no longer a boundary between liquid and gas. It is a dense, misty substance that behaves like both at once. The pressure here is tens of thousands of times greater than at Earth's surface. It is like having an entire mountain crushing our capsule, and with every kilometer we drop, that pressure multiplies. The temperature reaches thousands of degrees Celsius, hotter than the surface of the sun. We are, in practice, falling through an invisible, scalding ocean of hydrogen and helium. But the most radical transformation is still ahead. After traversing thousands of kilometers of this odd fluid, the pressure hits a critical point, millions of times Earth's atmospheric pressure. This is where physics becomes truly extreme. Hydrogen, the simplest element in the universe, is compressed so forcefully that its atomic structure simply falls apart. Electrons are ripped from their atoms and begin to flow freely, like a shared sea of electrons. At that moment, Hydrogen stops being an insulator and becomes an excellent conductor of electricity. It turns into a metal. We have reached the central highlight of our journey. We are diving into the largest ocean in the solar system, a global ocean of liquid metallic hydrogen. This layer is Jupiter's true engine. It is gigantic, extending across about 78% of the planet's entire radius. It is not an ocean of water, but an electric ocean dense and reflective like mercury, spinning at mind-bending speeds. It is this rotating metallic ocean that generates the most powerful magnetic field in our system. Jupiter does not need a solid iron core like Earth. The motion of this conducting ocean, combined with the planet's incredibly fast rotation, a Jovian day lasts less than 10 hours, creates a colossal dynamo. This dynamo produces a magnetic field nearly 20,000 times stronger than Earth's, forming a magnetic bubble so large that, if it were visible in our night sky, it would appear bigger than the full moon. Electric currents in this ocean power the spectacular, persistent auroras that dance over Jupiter's poles. We keep descending. What lies at the center of it all? For decades, scientists believed that deep down there would be a small, solid core of rock and ice, the original seed that formed the planet. 
But Juno, our robotic spy at Jupiter since 2016, told us a much stranger story. By precisely measuring the planet's gravitational field, Juno showed that Jupiter does not have a compact, well-defined core. Instead, it appears to have what scientists call a diluted core. Imagine the original rocky core partially dissolved and mixed with the metallic hydrogen just above it. There is no clear boundary. It is a gigantic central region, perhaps occupying half the planet's radius, where heavy elements like rock and ice are gradually mixed into the metallic hydrogen. This discovery challenged what we thought we knew about planet formation. How could such a core form? One idea was that a gigantic impact with another forming planet back in the early solar system might have shattered Jupiter's core, but more recent simulations suggest that would not work. The theory gaining the most traction, especially because Saturn seems to have a similar diluted core, is that this structure formed gradually, a process far less violent than once imagined. The heart of the king of planets is not a stone, but a diffuse enigma we are still trying to decipher. The existence of metallic hydrogen is not just a curiosity of a distant planet. Here on Earth, scientists are in a true race to recreate this exotic substance in the lab. Using diamond anvils and high-power lasers, they try to crush hydrogen to pressures similar to those inside Jupiter. It is an incredibly difficult and controversy-laden pursuit. But why so much effort? Because in theory, if metallic hydrogen could be created and remain stable under normal conditions, which is a gigantic if, it would be a revolutionary material. Some speculate it could be a room temperature superconductor, transmitting electricity with zero energy loss. It might also be the densest form of energy storage we know. Of course, for now, this is still speculation. Practical applications are a distant dream. But the physics that rules Jupiter's heart shows us what is possible, challenging us to understand the limits of matter. The Juno probe rewrote the books on Jupiter, transforming it from a simple ball of gas into an electric, dynamic world that is far more complex than we imagined. And every new orbit reveals more surprises. If you enjoyed this trip to the heart of the gas giant, and want to keep uncovering the universe's mysteries, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. That way, you will not miss our next adventure. Next time you see a photo of Jupiter, do not see just a planet. See a liquid colossus, a world-sized dynamo wrapped in a thin layer of storms. Remember that beneath the beauty we see lies a liquid metal ocean 40,000 kilometers deep, spinning and generating forces that shape its entire system. Our journey to understand Jupiter is only beginning. Juno's discoveries have given us pieces of a puzzle we did not even know existed. What else do you think hides in Jupiter's depths? Leave your theory here in the comments. Thank you for joining us and see you next time.